later on. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Guardian Ministries um, webcam. And to those who are listening in on the telesermon, hopefully we're all uh, all connected and you can hear me okay on the teles telesermon. Gary, is there any word on that? You won't be able to hear him. Oh, okay. Um, just want to welcome everybody on the, uh, this is the day 5-0. We've been counting uh, since the morrow after the Sabbath on the Wave Sheaf Sunday. And today is, is day 50. This is Pentecost. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a very important day. And uh, it was a day that, that, that Jesus, uh, he, he prophesied probably the, the, on the last great day of the feast, uh, prior to p this year, and uh, when he said that the Holy Spirit would be coming down, you know, Jesus in his prayer in John 17, he said to the Father, Father, I send, like you sent me into the world, and he sent, he says, I'm going to send, we're sending them into the world. He was talking about you and I, and brethren, many of us have challenges in our lives and especially with COVID and with this country being turned upside down with anarchists, I mean, it's really very troubling. And these are the, the it, it feels like the end times. So we're not going to focus. Today, we're going to step away from all of that. And we're going to focus on, the, on and leave those matters behind and focus on our God. And our God who's bigger than anything that we're facing. So let's magnify God in our lives, not on our problems, keeping in mind that we serve an awesome, powerful God. And his power has been given to us, his sons and his daughters. And Jesus prayed that, that the Father would make us one as he and his, and his Father were one to be used to bring him and his glory. So let's really sing this song for those of you who are listening in this is one of the old traditional hymns i sing the mighty power of god and just embrace that power that god has and what he's given to us and made available to us through his son jesus i sing the mighty power of god I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that ordained the sun to rule the day, the moon shines full at his command. And all the stars obey. I sing the goodness of the Lord that filled the earth with food. He formed the creatures with his word and then pronounced them good. Lord, how thy wonders are displayed wherever I turn my if I survey the ground and I tread or gaze upon the sky, there's not a plant or flower below but makes thy glories known, and clouds arise and tempests blow by order from thy foe. While all the borrowed life from thee is ever in the faith. And everywhere that man can be, thou God of present day. Thou God of present day. Beautiful. In my in my head, I was hearing you, all the voices joining in and singing. So for those of you who are, are, are on a computer, if you want to go ahead and join in and sing, let's all worship together. Worship with me. You know, I love the scripture in James 1.23. It says, anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks in the, 
at his face in the mirror. And after looking at himself, he goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. And then it goes on and says, whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what he has heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in all that they do. Paul says, let this mind be in you, which was in Christ. We are his workmanship. When we look into the mirror, we should see what God sees, Christ. Which is why Paul said, there's no condemnation to those who are in Christ. And Paul said, and my God will supply all and every one of your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. He alone has, he has our back. And what a wonderful promise as we're going through these changes and trials in, 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 in our lives ahead that you know God is allowing us who've been sent into the world to witness to those to, to be an example and a light and we can do that through his Holy Spirit, but we need Jesus in our lives. And let's really embrace the words of this song, Lord, I need you. Sing it for your hearts. Lord, I come, I confess. Bowing here, I find my rest. Without you, I fall apart. You're the one that guides my heart. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. My righteousness, oh God, how I need you. Where sin runs deep, Lord, your grace is more. Where grace is found is where you are, where you are. Lord, I am free. Holiness is Christ in me. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My one defense. My righteousness, oh God, how I need you. So teach my song to rise to you. When temptation comes my way, and when I cannot stand, I'll fall on you. Jesus, you're my hope and stay. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My one defense, my righteousness. Oh, God. defense my righteousness oh god how i need you if everyone will bow their heads let's all pray together Father in heaven, we come before your throne on this holy day. 
And it's a special day, God, that you have ordained and you set apart. Today, when you made an appointment to meet with us, and you did this, God, before doing Creation Week, and we're here, God, meeting you at your throne. Though we're not together in, in body, we're together, God, in spirit, the, what, the thing that unites us, your Holy Spirit that you sent out so liberally. Father, we do thank you for your son, Jesus. He prayed for us. He loved us so much. He gave his life for us. And he gave his life for us, God, so that we can be co-heirs and we can sit on that throne on his right-hand side as he's on your right-hand side and be given a new name. Father, we do thank you for that prayer and for answering the prayer. And you put us, God, into this world and it's really a messed up world right now because it's turned its back on you. And it's just doing going in the opposite direction that you wanted us to go in and everybody who's who you created. Father, you put us in this world to be lights and examples, not just to sit in our homes and hide, but to minister, to preach to the world, each and every one of us, not just the pastors, but each and every one who has the power of your Holy Spirit. Help us, God, to really embrace the calling, to use this time of isolation to draw closer to you, to be at one with you, to be at peace with you, to love you, to reach out to you, God, to see when we look in the mirror, not to just see that, that somebody who's gone in a different way, but to see your son, Jesus, living in us that when we talk to people, we'd be have encouraging words, that God would be praying constantly, instant in prayer. And God, you've given us this, this trial to those who are listening, God, for this moment that we're being, we're isolating God for a reason, to draw close to you. We have time. And Father, help us not to be distracted by the world, but be focused, laser focused on you and our role and the role that you intended to be one with you and Jesus Christ. We do ask God that you would bless this service, that it would it would go well, that the streaming would go well, and that the telesermon would be f flawless of any technical difficulties, that you would inspire the speaking, the scripture reading, the prayers, and the offertory, as well as God the sermon and a message and that you would help us all to get out of the way, and that you would speak to us this morning. And we ask these things and put place this service in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. There's nothing worth more that could ever come close. No thing can compare your all-living hope. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone your presence lord holy spirit you are welcome here Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. 
your presence, Lord. There is nothing worth more that could ever come close. No thing can compare your olive And I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of lives Where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone It's your presence, Lord oh. This place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for to be overcome by your presence, Lord. Your presence, Lord. your heart as I'm praying here alone in my room I hear your voice gently say come to me I long for your love like the earth longs for the rainfall I'm weary, Lord, I've wandered this desert too long. So come, living water, flow through me like a river. My heart's been thirsty so long flood through my soul and pour out your mercy come living water fill me the 
But so many times you've called my name And I've turned my face the other way Yet before I even saw the womb You loved me How could I be so blind When I alone have created my darkness Forgive me Lord and wash me clean again So come living water flow through me like a river my heart's been thirsty so long flood through my soul and pour out your mercy come living water Like a river, my heart's been thirsty so long. Flood through my soul and pour out your mercy. 